the adapter pattern. It is one among the most used design pattern you can see in a lot of projects. We are going to look at a simple demonstration of what it is, when to use it and how to use it with an easy to follow example. In this design pattern series, we are going to explain most popular creational, structural and behavioral design patterns. And for this video, we will go with the adapter design pattern. Subscribe if you think you need to get notified on these upcoming video releases. Now let's head on to the design pattern. First of all, let's see how Wikipedia defines the adapter design pattern. We will try to see if the description is understandable. So the wiki says, the adapter pattern is a software design pattern that allows the interfaces of an existing class to be used as another interfaces. To better understand it, we can take an example. Let's say you have a memory card with some photos in it. And now you want to move all your photos from this SD card to your computer. But your computer didn't have an SD card slot. So what you can do is to use a card adapter. This adapter's input is compatible with the memory card and the output is compatible with the computer. Essentially, it resolves the compatibility issues in this case. This is exactly what adapter pattern tries to do. Let's take one more example. This is Kate and she is a lion hunter. In software terms, we define an interface iLion to represent all the lions. Let's say Asiatic lions because they implement the iLion interface. She can also hunt African lions because they are also lions and implement the iLion interface. Pretty cool, right? Now let's see a sample of code. Here I have an interface iLion with a roar method. Who are implementing this interface need to implement this method. This is my hunter class. She can accept any lions and knows how to kill it. What I have here are implementations of iLion, which are Asian and African lions. Both implements iLion interface and have the roar method. Let's say tomorrow a wild dog came into picture. Now we need to hunt it along other lions, but our hunter only knows hunting lions, not wild dogs. And this is because a wild dog is not a lion, so it don't have a roar method and thus cannot implement iLion interface. To solve this incompatibility, we will write an adapter that can resolve this compatibility issue. We can call it wild dog adapter. Now this adapter will implement the iLion interface and will route the roar function back to bark function. And now since the adapter is an implementation of iLion, our hunter can accept wild dog also without any modification in the hunter's code. Now instead of passing the wild dog, if I pass it within an adapter, hunter can accept it. So I hope this video helps you. More videos are coming. Thank you.